So, Carl, thank you for joining us today. It's been a roller coaster first half of the season, but the Dons are in fourth at the minute. What have you made so far? Yeah, tough start. Um, not the start we, we were all hoping for. You know, we um, we set the stall out at the start. We wanted to go one better than last year. Um, we can still do what we need to do, but, uh, we you know, we had a a good chunk of that um, that team injured for the first period after the Keefley game. So 11 new additions at the start of the year. We're starting again. Um you see the teams that are going really well are the teams that have kept the, you know sort of kept their squads together north wales certainly started uh you know real well um Keefley with uh reese and, and and hendo doing what they're doing there you know i'm lucky enough to to know hendo quite well and um you know he's really doing some wonderful things with that club and you know it's probably Keefley's to lose now um you know they they're going they're going really well and they're strengthening um, so they they set their stall out and they're the team to beat, I suppose. And heading into the final half of the season, it's more important that you finish that half stronger, isn't it? Yeah, we did that very similar to last year. Um, you know, we started well, then we had a bit of a blip. And then this time last year, we, we were doing this. Um, you know, I says I'm pretty confident that we'll have a, a big finish to the season. We've got a good team. One thing we've got down here, we've got a great set of lads, you know, real, they're all determined to do well and it's just things sometimes just don't go as you plan and you're missing a few key players and, you know, with the recruitment, we would have probably kept majority of the boys who left if we would have known that there was, nothing was changing for the next two years. We didn't know that. Uh, like the supporters, a lot of the players thought, what's going to happen with League One and I better try and secure my future and get into a championship club. We did say we were happy for them boys at the time. You know, most of them players I've spoke to since, if they knew what was, you know, if the leagues were going to stay the same, we probably would have kept the boys. So that that, that happens. Um, we can't, you know, mope about and worry about it. We've just got to get on and, and try and do what we do. And Hopefully this back end, you know, we'll um, we'll have like Watson, Wilco, uh, Burnsy, Alex Holdstock, Missy back. They're a big. They're they're all starting players, um, and they add to our team. You know, we we are actively still having a look around and you know seeing what's out there from above, and if they can strengthen our team, we'll we'll bring them in. But um, we ain't we ain't giving up. We we'll keep fighting. The boys will keep working really really hard and. You know, we'll we'll give a good account of ourselves. We'll have a good finish to the season, I'm pretty sure. If we can stay healthy, you know, we're a match for anyone. And on top of that, you mentioned the, the players that left last season, but you've brought in Conor Robinson. And on top of that, Ben Howe's made a, a really good name for himself this season. So it's provided these new players an opportunity at stage for themselves. Yeah, listen, been quite difficult for Conor. We all know what Conor can do and, you know, we all think highly of him, but... He hasn't had a settled half with him, uh, you know, so and, and quite found his feet. But I thought the last two games, he's he's getting there. Um, his kicking game is right up there, probably with the best in the division. So hopefully if he can get a settled partner and, and he knows his, what he's got to do, we'll, we'll come good. We'll come good. And Ben Howe, uh, Ben's doing what Ben does. He's he's a he's a great lad. He he's kept his head down. He's kept training. He's worked hard, and when he's got his his opportunities, he's taken them. And as you see with Richard, Ben's been playing well, and he's and he's kept his place in the team. So that'll give him a lot of confidence. Um, he's growing into the into the side, you know. So he's he's done really well. We're we're impressed with him, and we're really happy for him because he has came through the system here, um, and he's doing a good job. You mentioned the injuries coming back, but as well, Ben Johnson has just served his suspension. So he's going to be available for this next half of the season. How big of a boost is him and the injured players coming back going to be? Yeah, Ben's massive for us. Um, you know, he's a he's a leader in the team. Benny Cocaine as well with his knee. He was out for a while. These boys lead us. Greg Burns, you know, another one who absolutely outstanding the first few weeks and then fractured his eye socket. He's due back, you know, they're all due close to be due back this weekend um, if we put our stronger side out we're, we're a match for anyone you know we've seen what North Wales done to us here and um, we'll see how far we've come when we go and play them this weekend uh, it'll be tough um, 
you know, we've got two real tough games. We've we've just had twenty days off. How it's fallen for us with the the bye and then the international weekend and then the next game for us. So it's four tough games on the road for us. Um, but we need to go and try and get something out of them games. Um, you know, confident if we can get up to that up the ladder in the playoffs. We just need to try and get as high up as we can. Um, we had a fans panel meeting the other night and, and they asked the same questions and our ambition is to finish as high as we can um, and win as many games as we can. With the boys coming back, we really give ourselves a chance and um, you know, we, we're looking forward, we're really looking forward to the back end of the season and seeing if we can um, we can continue doing what we did last year, but we don't want to we don't want to go and do it that way. It was tough, and you know we can talk about the Workington game all all day long and say it was one game too far. It wasn't one game too far. It was just Workington were better on the day. Um, we're not here as a club. We never make excuses for for things. It's easy to to blame and look at other people and point the finger and say if we only did that, if we only do that, all we got to do is work hard, stick together. Um, and, and this is what I told the players at this time last year. You know, you're all a good set of lads. You all get on. Just come to training, work hard. If you lose a game, but you know, still be proud of your performance. Stand up and and you know, put your chest out and just get to training on the on the Wednesday and put everything into training and then that will transform into the games. And I'm certain we can have a good finish to the season again. Again, I keep, I keep sound like a broken record, but. The boys do work really hard. Even when we had the 20 days off, I know for a fact they've all still been training hard and they all want to win. The boy, Like I say, the boys are great and they want to win. The coaching staff want to win. I want to win. The fans want to win. Um, but we need them. We need the fans. They, you know, we, we don't get to no final if we didn't have their support like we did last year. They were phenomenal the back end of the season. And, you know, the way we started, we haven't pleased them too much and I respect that, you know. They're, they're not happy, um, but let me tell you, hopefully they're all happy by the end of the year.